on Thursday. I think you get used to this anymore. Like legit steel drums. That's awesome. Okay, time to get to class. Only two today. And an absolutely beautiful day to do them on. Look at this. Good job, guys. Did a great job on the plantings here. This is all new. Excellent work. Alright, I'm gonna go get her done. Psych. How are you? 15 minutes. I will talk to you after class. Okay, I'm done for today. I'm going to the next level. Fancy ass honors college. Ain't that damn smart people. What's up guys, we're home. We're now exporting or uh, rendering, rather, that little text caption I put in there. Uh, the review of the eye carrier from Neutron. I don't even remember if I talked about that. I got one of these for review. Actually, I had the IMP, I believe it was the 12000 or the 1200D, several months ago. And I actually used that uh, to drive from here to San Diego, and that thing was awesome for uh, keeping the iPhones and stuff charged, and it's an amazingly huge battery. So that's the new one, the IMP120D, and this is the older one. Physically, they look about the same. They did change the finish. Watch the full review. This one's more of a matte finish. This is a fingerprint and scratch magnet, so that's a little bit better. And over here, they added another USB port. Uh, one of them is a 2 amp and one's a 1 amp, so you can charge an iPad a lot quicker off the new one than the old one. And you can charge two devices at the same time, which is excellent. It is 600% times the capacity of an iPhone 5 battery. So charge your iPhone 5 from zilch to full six times without recharging that thing. So they sent me this to review, the new version that they're trying to sell. Um, so I've got a 6 minute and 20, 51 frame second video here that I'm going to get up tonight. Hopefully they can get that approved tonight and I'll be able to put it live tonight. They also gave me a $10 off promo code that you guys can utilize on Amazon. So if anybody wants to buy that, that is awesome. Now, um, Ryan Knows Tech is a channel that generally does not have or does not in some cases take advantage of promotional deals from companies. Um, however, please understand that I'm doing this in a different way. If a, if a company sends me something, well first of all, when they approach me and ask me to review something, I look them up, I look at their products, I look at their name, um, and if they do crap and they send me something and I make a review and say, this thing's a piece of shit, don't buy it, that's wasting their time, it's wasting mine, and it's wasting anybody else that's looking for this product's time. So I'm not going to do that. But when the company actually makes a useful product that I like and I would buy myself, hell yeah, I'm going to review it. This thing's awesome. I'm not saying it because they sent me something for free, which I can use. So I mean, that's awesome and I appreciate that. Uh, but understand that anything that goes up on Ryan Knows Tech that I say, yes, this is good, go buy it, is actually good and you should actually go buy it. I'm not saying this so I can continue to get free stuff. If I didn't want it, then I would totally stop because I'm not getting anything out of it if it sucks. So please understand that. The products that I review, um, I would actually buy myself and I wouldn't try to sell anybody something that I don't appreciate, that I, don't, that I wouldn't buy myself. So. That'll, that'll be up later. Sorry, I talked so long. Okay, so the steel drum band this morning at the school was awesome. Then they had a little jazz trio thing going on. I didn't film that because I was on the phone, but that was very cool. And uh, I was on the phone when I was filming that leaf thing. Though. Did you see how they were doing those leaves? I was down on front campus on Hilltop Drive, and they were doing an awesome job cleaning the leaves off the front. It was beautiful. Then they're just blowing the leaves all the way over with these huge tractors with blowers on the back. That was really cool. Which makes me think, I need to get out there and blow some leaves. It's, it's beautiful. We have beautiful fall yellows out there on the maple, maple tree, but uh, there are leaves everywhere. So I'm going to go and start, use, and start to use the blower that last time I used it gave me a lot of trouble. I got it started fine. It's this one over here. This thing gives me trouble every year. It's big. It's old. It really hasn't been maintained that well aside from gas and oil every seven years or something. It's an IC 8 horse blower here. And the problem is, when I get it started, um, it runs fine until it warms up. 
And then when it warms up, if you don't leave it on full throttle, you bring it down 5% throttle, it will stall. It sounds to me like the timing gets off and it just starts kind of backfiring and dies. And once it dies, it is impossible to start. Even if it doesn't die and you turn it off and try to turn it back on, it won't start when it's been warm. So you gotta let it sit overnight and totally cool down again. So my goal is to get that started and to blow all these leaves off without bringing it below 100% throttle. If I do, then it dies, I won't be able to start it, and then I'll have to use one of the hand blowers, which work very well, but they're just too small for as many leaves as I need to deal with. Realistically, I should do all of these, and all of these, and the whole back, and the front's a mess, but I may have time today to mow which I could mow 90% of them off. I don't know who's having a party here. I wasn't invited. Uh, but anyways, that's the goal. My gran I told my grandfather about the problem. It used to be his blower, so he gave me a can of gum out. If you guys know what gum out is, you spray it in the carburetor. Uh, it's somewhere in here. And um, it goes in there and gums it out. If there's crap on the carburetor or the choke or uh, the probably throttle, ball, throttle body or anything that uh, the gas runs through, it will help that. So I did that in the blower and this, the trimmer, and they seem to be working better. I haven't tried to start them today, but they are indeed working better. So I'm going to try it with this, and I will let you know where we get. Okay, it is uh, now several hours later. It's uh, 12, 10 in the morning. Got that yard done. Oh, that was fun. It took me four hours. I got to blow off the whole backyard. The, the blower worked well. So I guess the, uh, the gum out's helping. Uh, blew off the side and the back, and then mowed the front. There were a lot more leaves than I thought. Made a big mess of it. Had to go over it twice. It sucked. Anyways, it's done. Watch the vice presidential debate. Very good. Um, I'm not going to say anything other than that. If you'd like to leave me some comments, go ahead. What did you think? Did you watch it? Um, leave me some thoughts. Anyways, now I need to edit this. I have a bunch of emails I need to do and a couple of videos, and it's already 12.10. Good thing I don't have class for 13 hours. Uh, so that is it for today for me, uh, day 669, and I will talk to you tomorrow on Friday. Good night.